Hi. Hi. Remember our last conversation? Yes. Well, now I'm gonna talk about this guy. Who is he? And what happened to his nose? And what does he have anything to do with the fractals we discussed last time? I want answers, please. Be patient. Let me explain. It was February third, eighteen ninety-three, and Dolores Delavent in City Bell Abbey's Algeria had given birth. She names the baby Gaston, Gaston Julia. When Gaston was very young, he slowly became interested in math and music. In nineteen ten, he won a scholarship, letting him stay in Paris until nineteen eleven. At the university there, he studied higher mathematics. At the time, he could also play the violin proficiently. He eventually went to the École Normale Supérieure, a French establishment for mathematics. Eventually, as World War One began, Julia joined the French army. But on January twenty fifth, nineteen fifteen, a terrible battle broke out, and in it, Julia lost his nose. He eventually decided that he would have to wear a leather strap around his injury for the rest of his life. However. Things weren't entirely bad for him. When he was twenty-five, he published a book in which he introduced a new kind of fractal, which we now call Julia sets, without a, even a computer or a calculator. And for a brief moment, he was famous. But his fame couldn't last. Eventually, his work was mostly forgotten, and he died on March nineteen, nineteen seventy-eight. But I will always remember him. Cool. What's a Julia set? Good question. To know that, let's play a game. Another game? Yes. Yes. Pick a number, any number. It needs to be a positive real number, though. Okay. What about one million five hundred sixty-eight? Now square it. What? No way. I pick two. Two squared is four. Now square it again. Four squared is sixteen. Now square it again. Sixteen squared is two hundred fifty-six, I believe. Now square it again. Two hundred fifty-six squared is, um, uh, let's see here. Carry the five, add the three. My point is that as you keep squaring, it gets bigger and bigger, right? Yes, I can definitely see that. But what if you square one? You get one, and then you get one again, and then you get one again, and then you get one again. It's an infinite series of ones. The ones are going to take over the world. Oh no! You may stop now. What about a number less than one, like one half? You get one fourth. Then you get one sixteenth. Then you get one two hundred fifty sixth. Then. Well, I don't really know, actually. It shrinks, right? Yes, all the way down to zero. But what if you try negatives? Well, negative two squared is four, which explodes to infinity. But negative one squared is one, which freezes at one, and negative one half squared is one fourth, which collapses to zero. So that means any number more than one or less than negative one explodes to infinity. They're unstable. But any number in between either freezes or shrinks to zero. They're stable. We can even draw a diagram of this. Um. Look, the marked numbers are the numbers that are stable, while the unmarked numbers aren't stable. But let's add another dimension, shall we? Two-dimensional numbers. Um. What? Complex numbers. They have two dimensions instead of the usual one-dimensional real numbers. Um. What? I have no time to explain it right now. Maybe later. But anyways, let me draw the complex plane. What happens if we square numbers here? I don't know. Well, the numbers inside this range are stable, while outside they are not. But what if instead of just squaring a number, we square a number and then add another number to it? I don't know. Look. If we add zero, of course we get a circle. But if we add a different complex number, we get all these cool fractal shapes.
Wow, that is so cool. I love fractals now, even more than before. They're Julia sets. Wow, <gasps> that is so cool. Hello, random stranger. Have you heard of Gaston Julia? He is a very cool mathematician who discovered Julia sets and lost his nose, which is super cool, except for the losing nose part. Julia sets are a subdivision of Julia-fied fractals. Yeah, I made up the word Julia-fied on the fly. Anyway, they are very cool and made with a number around a single point on a complex number line plane thingy. Did that make any sense whatsoever? It did? Great.